Now, I want to bring you a three-way celestial tango. Is that a scientific term? Yes. It's a solar eclipse. So, the sun, the moon, and um, all line up with the Earth to produce solar eclipse. And this is a live shot from Union Glacier in Antarctica. It's the only place in the world you'll be able to see this today. Um, and it's happening right now. And it's expected to last around, I think, about 50 minutes I think um, today they can last as long as 106 minutes um, so it's happening right at this moment in time and we just thought we'd bring that to you because it's just so wonderful and I think Chris, visible, Chris visible. is watching that as well as yeah. doing the weather is uh, what I'm thinking Chris is we've been I, I first saw that image about sort of six or seven minutes ago and you can literally fairly obviously see the change minute by minute yeah, that's right, Charlie. I believe that uh, the zone of totality, that's where the, t the moon completely uh, covers the sun. I think that happens at about uh, 7.44. So you should be able to see that, um, well, in just under half an hour. But yeah, it looks spectacular, doesn't it? We see, you know when, we I, see I, when we see like the circle, uh, you know, the light is behind it. Is that what it will look like? Yeah, you should see the, the atmosphere of the sun, the corona poking out once the moon's gone straight over Beautiful. it. You know, one thing I'd really love to hear is what the penguins make of it. Can you imagine a penguin colony <laughs> as the skies go black? Yes. You just imagine, oh, look at that one. It's gone dark. <laughs> <laughs> Good penguin impression, Chris. I'll, I'll give yeah. you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, shall I stick to the weather? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, moving on. Uh, okay. Um, it's 70, you know, right, so we have this clock just below this camera and the seconds go on. And the reason I'm looking really closely at this is because at 7.44, it's now 7.43. 7.44 is supposed to be the point that this solar eclipse completes. That you're, we're showing you a live shot from Union Glacier. This is in Antarctica. And a three-way celestial tango, as it's described. This is when the sun, there we go, the moon, and they line up with the Earth to produce this spectacle, a total solar eclipse. And yes, actually, this part, this can only be seen from Antarctica at this moment in time. And it's taken about 50 minutes to happen. And here it is. So visible to some in the southern hemisphere, but we can't see it in the UK, which is why we thought it would be a rather marvellous thing. It is quite a in. magical sight, isn't it? I mean, I'm not quite sure how the... Because it's clearly messing with the cameras to a degree, isn't yeah. it? Because some of the imagery is a little bit confusing as to whether where the moon is relative to the sun. But you, you can just see the faint shadow of the sun behind now as it moves across. I think we were expecting... Was it 7.45? Or 7.44. 7.44? It's so it's yeah, actually it's just... Yeah, it's supposed to just... Look, there it is. There it is. Because you can see it by minutes. I know this... I just think we'll be able to see it and then we'll have the corona all around. It's just about to happen, see? Ooh. Mike's watching as well. Yeah. It's a fascinating thing. I've never seen one in real life. No, every time I've tried to look at them, there's always been cloudy. And, so it's yeah. really nice to see this camera shot so clearly. So and the brightness to the top right, you can see just gradually disappearing, can't you? You can see the light just disappearing upwards and then you'll have the full circle of the sunlight Wow. Find the moon. There we go. This is the moment. Dust is oh. part of the moon shadow. Hey! Oh. Now that has been worth waiting for this morning. Sometimes the best things in life are free, aren't they? They are. It's the marvels it's of the nature. It's the wonders of nature. It? And watching it, watching it happen like that, of course, it's often the case, because I've seen these before, where, as we we'll stay on the image for a moment, because for a while, you can't really see much change in no. the early stages. And then suddenly, yeah. when, it, when you get to that... It just gets there. Full of clothes. Glorious. Wow. There you worth, go. Worth having a moment or two. Oh, definitely, yeah. How long is it going on for, by the way? Well, well that's it now. So, it, it, yeah, to, it take, yeah, you'll go off. Across. It took oh. 50 minutes to get there. It's made my morning. Time now is 11 minutes past nine. Just want to show you something rather remarkable that we witnessed during the programme this morning. Uh, the eclipse that took place this morning in Antarctica. Um, this speed-up image from Union uh, Glacier shows the moment when the sun and moon perfectly aligned with the Earth. Look at that. It wasn't visible from the UK, but researchers and penguins, of course, got that view of the outermost layer of the sun. Uh, the next total eclipse in the South Pole won't be for 18 years. Chris, I know you were watching on as that happened. When was it? It was a, a 7.45, I think, wasn't it? Is that right? And, and we just watched those final moments. 
Yeah, that's right, Charlie. And uh, some of the things that I was watching with my colleague, Tom uh, Schaffernacker, we can see like the sun going through some of the high ground on the moon, those little kind of pearl shapes that you could see. And also the top uh, sort of uh, north, northeast of the picture, if you like, about the two o'clock position, I reckon you can see some solar flares at totality where you can see the corona, you can see these flares leaping off the sun's surface. So little bright spots there towards the northeast, you can just get a sense of them there.